Uh, so the trial is kind of like, it's just a mockery of the American justice system where these people were not given a fair chance. Uh, Julius Hoffman, who is the judge, was clearly against them, had decided basically that he was going to make sure that they were found guilty. He was a super conservative judge. He made sure that only very conservative people ended up on the jury. Um, one of the guys who ended up on the jury uh, had a son he kicked out of the house for protesting the Vietnam War. And then you have the prosecutor. Imagine being that fucking stupid. Yeah. And, um, and, well, he also, you know, the attorney general at the time of the riots, Ramsey Clark, was on the stage willing to testify that his investigation concluded that the protesters did not incite the riot, that the Chicago police incited, incited the riot. Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton in the movie. And Julius uh, Hoffman. I was about to call him Julius Caesar. <laughs> Julius Hoffman they could have used threw Julius it out. Caesar. Um, the, from what I understand, how he was portrayed in the movie is very accurate to how he actually was. Of like, he was very supportive. Yeah. Of this guy was actually... Um, That's great. He, he was a hardcore racist. He was... Uh, what? Julius... The judge. Oh, I thought you were talking about Keaton. No, I'm character. not talking about Keaton. I'm talking about the judge. Like, that's how he actually was. Just yeah. like any objection that the prosecution made got sustained. Any mm -hmm. objection that the defense made got overruled. Um, he he would throw out evidence, straight up throw out any evidence that might support that the defense was innocent. And basically... These people are... Anti-American. Yes. Very. Like, yes, they like, are. If you, you are anti-protest, anti then you are anti-American. Like you're trying to 100%. throw out votes. You're trying yes. to fucking. If you're stop trying to people. throw out votes, yeah. if you're trying to make the case in court that the entire city of Detroit, yeah. that all the votes from the city of Detroit should yeah. be thrown out, yeah. then you're anti-American. Um, yeah. I mean, there's so many parallels you can make. Like the 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 two guys that were. See, I always talk about how, like, liberals should take back the American flag because yes. we actually represent, like, what is in the Constitution. Uh, I'm not I, saying, like, I all conservatives are against the Constitution. Obviously not. But, like, you know, this this whole idea that, like, Republicans or, or like, far-right people, I should say, like, yeah. own the flag. Like, those two guys, those two kids in the movie when they're protesting... And the one woman has a, an American flag. An American and they're flag. like, take down the fucking flag, you cunt. And they're like yelling at her. I should, um, well, yes, I'll, you'll finish your I point. I wanted to I'll fucking um, shoot those kids yeah. in the head. Um, and by the way, they're not kids. They're they're men. Yeah. But but so I should point that should out. frustrates and the we, hell to me. We can point out kind of differences how this movie because it's still a movie so it's still hollywoodized yeah of course. um that happened in real life i'm sure but, it did but uh she was not holding an american flag she was holding a communist flag oh all right well and a bunch of uh, but a bunch of frat bros did try to attack her and basically pull her clothes off and Jerry Rubin did stop it yeah and was then arrested that did happen I actually but it forgot, was it wasn't i in, forgot that side of it where yeah. they actually attempt to rape her i was just yes. thinking of like because that whole idea of like you can't fly the american flag because you don't agree with me it's right like, that's not how this works guys. um i get why they changed it that's yeah. the point he's trying to make is like you do not own like the the right does not own the american flag yeah so i get I didn't know why that, that's they changed it in real life she she was holding a communist flag yeah um oh, that's also fucking stupid because it's like yes. what is some you, like you don't know communism you know right it's just like stop with these childish fucking you right. know things um and that and that's kind of like a few things are different like um joseph gordon levitt's character uh <sighs> schultz the prosecutor he did a good job because boy did i want to punch him in the fucking face the whole movie um, i did too what a dweeb I, that guy is so i'm sure he's a nice guy in, in real life but like he's 
uh, well, Joseph Gordon-Levitt well, I don't know. probably yeah. is the yeah. prosecutor in real life. No, he was not. Yeah. Um, yeah. But dude, what a dweeb. Can so we just talk about what a nerd he is? He He's a nerd, and I see, this is where I see of the two, the two antagonists, the judge, Julius Hoffman, and then the prosecutor, Schultz, of they represent the two types of evil. The judge is the evil person who does evil things to others, and Schultz is the evil person Silence, who, yeah. who lets yeah. evil things happen to others. I thought that was actually very, like, overstated. Like, I was like, yeah. I see the point. Yes. Like, I, like, I really get the point you're driving home. There's, you're driving home the point of, like, silence is just as dangerous yes. as, like, outright racism. Or of he... In the movie, like he's his, his ambition is getting in the way. His ambition, yeah. he's ambitious. He wants this trial because it's better for him. Exactly. His personal beliefs might be these guys probably shouldn't go to prison, but he's not going to let that stop him. In real life, uh, Schultz was hardcore right wing, maybe even more right wing than the judge was. David Dillinger like calls him a Nazi afterwards, saying he was like basically a fascist. Mm -hmm. And uh how he was portrayed of like somewhat sympathetic maybe yeah, yeah, yeah. to the Chicago seven was not how he actually was. Uh was he like in the movie after Bobby Seal was gagged, um let me ask this question. That did actually happen. Why? That actually happened why have, haven't we outgrown the need for Hollywood to do shit like that? When you look at like the, and I'm, I'm dead serious. When you look at like the Tiger King, or you look at you know the Vow, which I'm totally obsessed with. I don't know. The, the, it's about Nexium, Keith Raniere. Oh, I have not like, watched when you, that. You look I'm, at these like true, like these real stories. You don't. Like, haven't we outgrown the need to Hollywoodize everything? Like, couldn't they just right. show the trial? You know, right. I understand back in the day when people don't have access to information or streaming or the internet, and it's like, hey, listen, like, we want to put a, a you know, a cohesive A, B, C, D together with the through line just so, like, we could sell movie tickets. You don't have to do that anymore. I don't know. I, I don't know that you'll I ever get rid of it. I'm just saying. I don't know if that's something you necessarily don't have to do because people... One, people are expecting a story like that ABC. But, people are expecting that. But there, there is that story. I'm saying like you're still not going to make a movie if there's no story there, essentially. Right. But I mean, you know, what's your definition of a story? Like there's tons of things that... I'm, I mean like a, a typical beginning and middle and end. Sure. And you might have to, you know, stretch the facts a bit. Or if there's a particular thing you want to say, you might want to stretch reality. Like to me, the, you know, how different Joseph Gordon Levert's character was to the actual person. Like that's not the biggest deal to me. Um, yeah, no, I, 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 yeah, but it's still a choice they made. Yes. So like why? Just because I, I think that they're trying to, I'm going to guess they didn't want just two outright evil characters. They feel like they already had that guy with they the judge. They already have this guy with the judge. They already have a main like evil a redundant antagonist. character. Like, yeah. And yeah, having two characters like that, I feel like doesn't really add anything. I like the Fair idea enough. of just like there's evil people who do evil things and, and then there's, there's evil people who just let it happen. They're complicit. Yeah. Who are complicit. Um, no, a, I, I see your point. Yeah. I agree. I I definitely agree with that. But yeah. like, so I in, guess that in answers real life, the he was he was more than just complicit. The they have Schultz uh, is the one who acts for a mistrial against Bobby Seal. Uh, when he didn't in real life, he was totally fine with having a man gagged and and uh, chained to a chair. Also, so how in, did the mistrial actually happen in real life? Um. I, I believe that the judge, like, realized that he had kind of turned the jury uh, against, like, him, by against him by doing that. Also, in real ah, life, interesting. So in, he thought he might lose the conviction because of how he because was Because of that. Also, in real life, uh, Bobby Seale was, was bound and gagged for several days. In the movie, it's like 15 minutes. Uh, he, was, he was there for several days. Uh, and eventually they had to call a mistrial.